Welcome back to part two today of Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year and today it's still Wednesday the 3rd of August and I'll just come a wee bit along the M4 motorway and we'll come to Morriston Golf Club just here north of Swansea this is course number 122 this year let's go and see what it's all about ladies and gentlemen it's course number 122 of 2022 it's Morriston Golf Club on the tee, being in Wales, with a big shout out to Olivia Breen who won the women's 100 metres at the Commonwealth Games never seen anybody quite so excited to win which was great and at least we get a decent national anthem to listen to from Kirkintilloch in Scotland Smithy! This is the first at Morriston and it's a huge downhiller par 5, 466 yards I think that must be it right down the bottom it just looks straight so look at the green at the first at Morriston. Uh, it's quite steep down the hill, so I'm not far off in two at the par five. But I see there's another hole running parallel to this one, and that's going up the hill. So I think that's uh, much later on. We'll look forward to that. Well, after what looked a nicer shot into the par five, a third shot. Smithy balls on the green. Don't know where it rolled back a wee bit, but we've got a bit of oh, 30, 40 footer for a birdie. That's the second at Morriston, 355 yards, par 4. I think it's going to be a slight fade to the right. A wee building site going on here, I think they're building more houses to the side of the second. That'll make it a tighter drive. I'll have to put a big wall up. Anyway, we'll start it instead of a birdie with three putted. Great. Bogey instead. This is a view into the second green. This is a slight fade to the right. No elevation change, still on the same level. Third toll at Morriston, first of the par threes, 161 yards. That's a wee bit of a plain one, there's not really much definition on the fairway. Uh, a couple of bunkers down there, sloping gently down to the, the flag there. That's the fourth hole, second consecutive par three, 135 yards. Again, it's uh, relatively straightforward, I would, I would still say a bit plain. That's the fifth at Morriston. Uh, stroke index one, big long par four, 429 yards. Uh, it's in and out, going uh, in left and switching back right again, and then I think it's ri rising up to the green at the back. This is a real monster of a hole. Oh, that's a green at the fifth. It's miles away, 439 yards. Oh, it feels a lot longer than that. It's maybe just it's straight into the wind today. Uh, oh, there's a ditch put across there just in case the hole wasn't hard enough already. One of the hardest holes I've played. This is the sixth hole at Morriston. Uh, another par three, 144 yards. But strangely enough, it's another one that's a bit disappointing. But the, the six holes, the three par threes, have all been a little bit disappointing, I think. Whereas the other three holes have been really good. And with that big building up on the right hand side, that's DVLA in Swansea. And that's the 7th hole, 354 yards, uh, across the ditch, slightly up the hill and then round to the right behind the trees. That's a much nicer hole this one, than the par 3's, that's really nice, hills in the background. 8th hole, I'll look from the 8th tee at Morriston, it's 326 yards, par 4, across all the ferns and the, the bushes, on the fairway and then it's rising up and going straight. So with all these bushes danger at the start, it's a new stunt golf ball Benedict, it says first go after the demise of Angela earlier today. Now I'm just looking back at the tee box at the 8th, that's a fair old carry through all that scrub there. See all the flowers, it's horrible stuff in there, if your ball goes in there you get no chance. But Benedict, stunt golf ball, decent drive on the fairway, a shot up to the green. Ninth hole, end of the front nine. Uh, fourth of the par threes, there's four par threes in the front nine and two in the back nine. This one's 188 yards downhill. But again, again there's no real shape to it. Nice backdrop. Well that's the end of the front nine of Morriston. Six over par, play off 16. 19 stable for points, going alright. As it's a par 33, so that's me a 39, always nice to beat 40. Uh, here we go at the 10th. 418 yards, dog legging to the right, through the trees. 
a look at the 11th hole, 341 yards, par 4. Uh, that's quite a wee walk up the hill here once you cross over the ditch. 12th hole, 289 yards. Uh, that's all down the hill. That'll be drivable for many, if you can hit the ball further than me that is. And this is a look down to the 12th green. Uh, it's guarded by two big bunkers there, so if people are trying to drive a green, uh, it's going to be protected. You have to sneak it through the gap. I think that's the 15th green that's further, further along. 13th hole, 330 yards. Ah, oh, it's a steep climb this one. Flags away up at the top where the, there's a house away at the top there. Again, it looks a lot further than 330 yards. That's a 14th hole, par 3, 198 yards uh, through the trees there. Pin just sitting up in there, just give it a whack. And this is a green at the 14th, you come down just next to the trees. Decent drive, but I've gone off away down the bottom right, must have run off. Tough shot back. 15th at Morriston, 152 yards. Uh, it's the last of the six par threes. Easily the best of the par threes. Across some ferns there and then it's rising up, kind of plateau for the green. So I'm not classing it as an uphill par three, but it's a... Uh, you can see all the green. Well, there's been a couple of steep uphill ones in the back nine at Morriston, and this is the one I'm really not looking forward to. 16th hole, 485 yards, par five, right away up the hill. It's the right hand side fairway. Right away up the top there. This is a view from behind the 16th after you've climbed 485 yards up the hill. Really not nice. Ah, oh, no, this is strange. This is the 17th tee. I'm heading away out this way, 371 yards par 4. The 18th tee is just behind the trees down there, going away back there to the clubhouse. So, by my calculations, I'm going to have to play up to the green and then virtually walk a hole all the way back to the next tee. Who knows? Right, I've just played the 17th hole. The 18th tee. It's actually about 30 yards away from the 17th tee. As I said earlier, you're walking up this hole now, I've got to walk all the way back to where I started from. Nuts! Well, we've walked to 400 yards back from the 17th green to the 18th tee. Par 4, 311 yards, that's a clubhouse down the right hand side. Crosses over, first of all is the 16th rising up. From left here, crosses right over. And then you get the first tee up there. And that crosses over, so you're actually crossing over two holes. It's one of the worst finishes I can remember in a golf course. Oh, so look in at the 18th green. Oh, about 10, 11 foot away for a birdie. Hi, oh, that's me just finished on the 18th at Morriston. The suburbs of Swansea. Uh, first of all, I have to say the course is in uh, good condition, the greens are good. Oh, I can't complain at the visitor rate uh, this afternoon of 18 quid. However, let's just break down the course into the, the two nines. On the front nine, there's some very nice holes on there. There's four par threes and they're all as plain as day. The other five holes are thinking they're rather good, but the par threes themselves are a big disappointment. Then you come on to the back nine. I, I honestly don't know who designed it. They must have been on loopy juice. Uh, most of it's on the side of a hill, so you'll get three steep uphills at 11, uh, 13, 16, two big steep downhillers. So you're just sort of walking up and down a couple of steep hills. Uh, there's a junction where you'll get four tees at the same bit. The second tee, the 11th tee, 13th and the 16th tee are all around the same area. So if it gets a wee bit busy, you've got a whole load of people teeing off. And then the worst part of all, honestly, you come up the 16th, and you think the 17th is going to be towards the clubhouse. You can actually see the 18th tee. And then the 17th goes 400 yards, nearly 400 yards away from the clubhouse again. And you get to the green, and then you get 400 yards to walk back to the 18th tee. It's nuts! As I said, and then you come to the 18th, and the 18th hole, Nice enough in itself, but you're crossing the first and the 16th hole. Two of them in a row. 
So you don't know where you're going, Tin Pan Alley. It's honestly the worst finish I can remember to a golf course of any I've played, and I've played quite a few. So no holds barred there. What can I give it? I can't give it any more than a four. I said the condition was good, but it might be to other people's taste, but certainly not to mine. So that's all from me today. Thank you very much.